my dear students in this video we shall discuss creation of a linked list single linked list by continuously inserting elements at the end of the list so let us see the operation of creating a single linked list by continuously inserting the elements at the end of the list okay initially start will be equal to null because the list will be empty yes now let us insert 16 at the end of the list right now start is equal to null therefore the list is empty 16 will be the first element to be inserted in the list create a new node which is pointed by p p of info is equal to 16 p of next is equal to null start is equal to p yes we have inserted 16 at the end very good let us insert 37 at the end of the list so 37 should be inserted after 16 let us create a new node pointed by p yes p of info is equal to 37 p of next is equal to null now how to connect the node containing 16 with the node containing 37 so the address part of 16 should contain the address of 37 yes 16 is connected to 37 very good let us insert 24 at the end of the list so 24 has to be inserted after 37 so let us create a new node which is pointed by p p of info is equal to 24 p of next is equal to null how to connect the node containing 37 with the node containing 24 address part of 37 should contain the address of the node containing 24 yes 37 is connected to 24 now we have created a single linked list with three elements and start is containing the address of this list and also we created this linked list by continuously inserting the elements at the end of the list very good now we shall create a single linked list by continuously inserting the elements at the end of the list yes initially the linked list is empty that is start will be equal to null yes here we require one more pointer last to point to the last element in the list see start always will contain the address of the first element in the list we require one more pointer last which will contain the address of the last element in the list that's all simple let us go on inserting the elements until we get the element minus 999 so when we get minus 999 we stop the creation we shall read the first element first item yes 10 we have read 10 we shall check whether it is equal to minus 999 no it is not equal to minus 999 therefore create a new node which is pointed by p yes the equivalent statement there then insertion logic now right now start is equal to null therefore if start is equal to null what we have to do insert 10 into this new node yes p of info is equal to item p of next is equal to null yes p of next is equal to null start will contain the address of this node yes and also as i said last should contain the address of the last element in the list but right now there is only one element in the linked list that only is the first element that only is the last element therefore start also will contain the address of that element last also will contain the address of that element therefore last is equal to p yes last is equal to p very good so 10 is inserted again after insert insertion logic is over now read one more item 20 so 20 is not equal to minus 19 yes 20 is not equal to minus 19 therefore create a new node which is pointed by p yes we have created a new node which is pointed b go to the insertion logic so in the insertion logic if start is equal to null we have the logic but right now start is it equal to null no start is not equal to null start is containing the address of the node 10 therefore we should do else part start is equal to null no else what we have to do p of info is equal to item p of next is equal to null very good now we should connect the node having 10 with the node having 20 that is last of next is equal to p yes last of next is equal to p yes we have connected and now there are two nodes 10 and 20 which is the last node 20 is the last node before insertion of 20 10 was the last node now after insertion of 20 at the end 20 is the last node therefore last should contain the address of the node 20 yes last is equal to p that's all so insertion logic is over now again read one more item 30 
put the while loop 30 not equal to minus 99 no 30 is not equal to minus 99 so create a new node which is pointed by p good go to the insertion logic start is equal to null no start is not equal to null start is contained the address of the node 10 therefore else part so p of info is equal to item 30 p of next is equal to null yes last of next is equal to p last is containing the address of the node 20 last of next will point to p carefully see this last of next is equal to p very good now 30 is the last node therefore last is equal to p yes last is equal to p insertion logic is over again read one more item 40 so go to, go to the while loop 40 not equal to minus 99 yes 40 is not equal to minus 99 therefore create a new node which is pointed by p go to the insertion logic if start is equal to null no start is not equal to null start is containing the address of the node 10 therefore else part p of info is equal to item 40 p of next is equal to null yes last of next is equal to p now carefully understand last of next is equal to p yes now 40 is the last node therefore last is equal to p yes last is equal to p insertion logic is over now again scan f item we read minus 99 so when we read minus 99 go back to while loop while item not equal to minus 99 you have to do but right now item is equal to minus 99 therefore come out of the while loop when you come out of the while loop the singly linked list is created by continuously inserting the elements at the end and start is containing the address of the linked list i think the logic is quite simple quite straightforward and one more thing see in the insertion logic if start is equal to null that condition then part how many times it is executed it is executed only once at the beginning whenever you are inserting the first node see right now in our case four nodes are created so start is equal to null that then condition is executed only once else condition is executed three times so start is equal to null happens only at the beginning it will be executed only once in all the remaining cases else part will be executed that is another important point that's all the logic is quite simple and straightforward now let us come to the function create sll end create single linked list by continuously inserting elements at the end yes yeah, start is equal to null enter the elements to stop enter minus minus 999 read item while item not equal to minus 999 create a new node if start is equal to null yes the logic we have already discussed this yes yes we discussed this logic also read one more item go back to the while loop when you come out of the while loop return start that's all return start that's all the logic for uh, creating the uh, single linked list by continuously inserting the elements at the end and that's all the function i think this is quite simple quite easy